I'm I'm not planning on badgering Hayden anymore today. The thought didn't ever cross my mind. Well, I wouldn't blame you if it did. While we are on the subject, is there anything new to report? You don't have to worry about Hayden physically. She's doing fine. I did have a little talk with her about your, your visit. She still doesn't remember anything about Jake. I didn't really mean to be so tough on her earlier. I think it had more to do about Silas than whether or not he'd remember something or not. Nothing gets past you, does it? How's my Sammy doing? Oh, All right? I'm okay. I'm okay. My heart hurts for Kiki. She's lost both of her parents in a relatively short amount of time. Did you talk to her? I did. I, um, I went to Carly's. She's in a lot of pain. I offered to set up a, um, a memorial here at GH4. That's nice of you. I, I want her to know that her father was loved. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go see if the chaplain is around. Okay. Well, by the time you're done that, I'll probably be done my shift. Okay. Will you wait for me here? Of course, why wouldn't I? I just don't want you to feel weird about me and Jake working on Michael's case. Well, if weird you mean jealous, no, that's not gonna happen. I just get a little bit worried about you sometimes, that's all. But truthfully, I know you have only eyes for me. Oh, um, do you know? Yeah. <laughs> Jason, I try to live every day the way I just told Elizabeth to live, to choose to be happy and to honor you by living the best life that I can. fireworks in the sky. Oh, when I hear motorcycles. And you should see Danny when he jumps off the porch railing and he laughs so loud because he loves to take chances like you. You will always be a part of my heart. Even though I've let you go.